Welcome to round one of the Imba Cup. This is the very first game, so a great way to uh, get this event started is uh, Zok here as uh, Seraphim. Going with one Pigeon, uh, four Mask Strikers to land, and he's taking on Tag Pebble, who is Cybern. And uh, Cybern is quite dangerous on such a map, most likely. Very weak uh, ACU. But we'll see how this plays out. And you can see the difference two Pigeons versus one Pigeon. Uh, you can also watch all these games live from uh, obliterating wave uh, on Twitch TV. So this is a replay. I have only seen about the first five minutes, so I have no idea exactly what happens. And I'll try to do replays of all the different games that happen in this journey. So now we can see uh, right away to the Hydro for uh, Zo uh, yeah, Zoc. Had a very early scout from Attack Pebble. It's a nice placement of it. Maybe you can see this choke point, but you can definitely see anything that goes to the middle to get that mass. And you can see the ACU from Zoc being very aggressive. You can see the ACU for Pebble making the second factory, which is air. And also we're seeing a lot of hunters going to the bottom uh, left base here. And multiple Selene's coming out for Zoc. See the scout, he knows there's Selene's, probably knows this is a AC action there. The first kill of the uh, attorney, Selene versus a scout for Zoc. It appears the plan for Zoc, he already has uh, two land factories, there's more land factories, no air yet. It's a very uh, big difference here between these two players. Only one uh, land and one air for Pebble so far, and he's moving out. Looks like he's going to pick up a mask extractor before he goes to the middle. This could be a big mistake given that there's huge, about 4,000 masks just sitting there, and Zok is already getting that mass. Zizok uh, has, has a Hydro Plus. He's going to use one NG to spam power, and uh, two NGs to spam power for Pebble. Still no plans for more land. We see these hunters here. It looks like they're going to establish a hold on this uh, left side. You'll see a bomber coming out for Pebble. He's going to look for the top uh, right. So it looks like Pebble going ground, uh, bottom, air top, and deny his ACU is going to get to the middle, but he's going to be a little late to this other uh, big mass chunk. And it looks like he's completely ignoring that, actually, which is very strange. And I'll finally see two more uh, NGs for Pebble making more land factories. So the third factory for Pebble is built when you have the fifth for Zok. And here come the bombers in the air. We do see flak coming out for Zok now. So this bomber has been essentially a scout this whole time. And we're actually seeing this tanks from uh, Zok being very aggressive against the hunters, taking out a lot of hunters. So it looks like the bottom site is going to be taken for Zok, at least uh, temporarily. And big numbers advantage for Zok. You can see he can turn that 4,000 uh, mass into 80 uh, a little less than 80 tanks as long as he has the power and he probably does that's a huge advantage for uh, Zok early on and you can see Pebble now moving out looks like he's going to try to uh, cut off the uh, land going into uh, the top uh, right side but now he's got a little trouble at his base you got one tank sneaking in killing out a mass extractor here and now Mantis versus tanks you can see now for the fifth land factory being built by a pebble actually defends quite well here so good defense from those manti but in terms of map control you can see Zok is uh, getting the better of this one you can already have an NG he's going to get four more mask extractors a huge advantage once again you can see pebbles is you in the middle trying to pick up the pieces uh, he only got uh, a couple of rocks it's all the major mass chunks have, have been already reclaimed they're all also a few T2 wrecks here, about uh, maybe 200 masts just sitting there. And on the other side you can see tanks and flak. So Pebbles air getting shot out of the air. And you can see both the uh, bottom uh, left and top right is being taken by Zok. Although there is a challenge here with two Mantis sneaking in, they take out the Angie. That was a good raid from Pebble to prevent this uh, the utilization of this base and now we can see it's going to be a pretty big numbers advantage for Zoc versus Pebble here Manti versus Tanks 
and Zog's just sitting with his ACU in the middle. Uh, Pebble retreating. Looks like it is going to be three versus one in terms of bases, and these Manti taking pretty big losses here on the left side. We do see a PD being constructed by Pebble, so he's going to be very defensive. Is going to retreat. So most of the units are going to the left for him from the factories, and only a few going to the top. This Manti and already very late. There's already PD established for Pebble. And now we see more units. Looks like uh, Zok is going to try to get a force together with his ACU. Actually, Pebble not getting an upgrade. Uh, most likely, Gun. And a force from Pebble now moving out. This is minute seven. And you can see here now Zok moving in. Pebble uh, is retreating. Not clear if he got that upgrade. And now we can actually see some of these units from Pebble might get himself in trouble. He's going between these two hills and he's being chased. And now he's going to retreat. So these men are going to have to fight their way out. They should be able to do so. So maybe that was a good move to get uh, Zoc to retreat, give Pebbles ACU a little bit of a breather here. So if he did get that gun upgrade, he could be in pretty good position here to push back. You can see now Pebble splitting up his forces. Now minute eight, a little good reclamation, 4,000 for Pebble. Zoc is at 6,000. So only a 2,000 uh, difference, but really big early advantage for Zoc. Now these men are thinking about moving in, but here comes another NG. So four more mass extractors, four more mass extractors, so eight more here just in those bases plus so basically a huge mass advantage for uh, Zoc in this game and now we see a push from these Manti might not be successful and they want to avoid that PD if they get too close that PD is going to get a lot of kills it's actually a successful assault by uh, Pebble here this will be interesting if you can save a couple of these already and take out that uh, PD a Pebble getting another upgrade, maybe this is Stealth. So Stealth and Gun would be very nice. You see multiple T1 PDs being constructed by Zoc. He actually has a T2 PD here. So T2 land from Zoc, I believe missed that. You see he also has air, T2 land, and Yoshua is coming out. Yoshua is going to be completely deadly, especially against uh, Again, Cybern with no shields. And you can see this Mantis force actually completely ran over Zoc here in the bottom base. It looks like Zoc was just sitting there and the Mantis used, uh, used their speed to get around. It's a very good uh, win here for uh, Attack Pebble on the bottom. And now Pebble is moving to the middle with already with 9 kills. He is attacking on all fronts. Already has an NG in this base trying to get back the base. And here comes the fight. Actually, Zoc here has the gun upgrade. You can see looks like both players do and now Pebble moving in on Zoc you see he's got a, man, a lot of Mantis to support and in the bottom left here we see a loss once again for Pebble now it looks like mostly ACUs shooting each other Pebble going down to 6000 Zoc going down to a little more than 6000 but you can see this NG from Zoc getting T2PD is such a valuable NG here so it looks like Zoc used that early advantage to go T2 and now he's going to recapture most of his bases. You can see this Yoshua together with his force, these Manta are so very much outgunned in this situation. So and you can see more uh, units coming in through the bottom. So temp Pebble won this uh, left side temporarily, but not taken out once again, and more NGs coming down. No Pebble with nine kills going into the middle. Actually getting shot by T2PD now. So it looks like Zoc has really established a very good uh, stronghold on the top here. You got Yoshua's plus T2PD. The only chance to even out the map control here for Pebble is uh, definitely not running into the T1PD. This is not going to be good. So now Pebble retreats. He's maybe to take take this bottom base and then maybe establish some T2 on the bottom here. And we do see T2 land from uh, Pebble. He is getting TMD and he's getting some uh, Rhinos. So maybe with those rhinos he could take back the land here, but this force from Zoc does have multiple Yoshua's now, and uh, Zoc moving his ACU to the other side. And actually, Pebble thinking about attacking on the top. He does have a rhino in support here. There is a Yoshua versus rhino, maybe a little numbers advantage, but here comes a T2PD from 
Zoc, and that's really going to make this top side uh, unassailable for a T T1, T2 force. A pebble might try to take back the bottom left side, and you can see here the Yosha will already 13 kills in this T2 PD. It's going to be a full retreat for pebble, and more pe more Yosha is coming in now. Zoc moving in with this force. ACU plus Yoshua is in T1. A Pebble moving through once again with his uh, Manti and supported by Rhino. Actually doing a good job with this bottom base, but more reinforcements coming in for Zoc. Let's see here, Pebble now getting another upgrade. Perhaps he changed from gun to. Uh, maybe that is the stealth upgrade. Here we see some uh, stealth uh, fields plus some uh, missile launchers, some multiple anti PD units. And you can see here this Rhino with six kills, another Rhino with seven. So a good attack from Pebble, but now retreats the reinforcements with Yoshua's to the bottom side. And here you see we might see a PD creep from the top side from Zoc. Here come the missile launchers from Pebble. And actually T3 land already, 14 minutes, T3 land, we're seeing mobile shields from... Uh, oh, this is just uh, really bad for Pebble. He fell behind and now Zoc uh, really taking his time, just getting the better tech. Now Pebble really behind in terms of what uh, he's got to play with. He really just barely got any T2 units, but he's already going to be facing T3. There are uh, awesome tanks coming out, plus this mobile shield. And an ACU with this mobile shield, you can see it's 10,000 health, basically doubles the health of the ACU. We do see some T2PD here from Pebble. And you can see Pebble here seeing that shield, realizing it's all over. And actually pushes So That shield lost its uh, ability because of power surge, it seems. And actually, Zoc might be getting himself in a little bit of trouble. If this was... 3599, this would be a draw, but no, Zoc gets away with it. 700 uh, health at the end for Zoc. Maybe a little too aggressive, ran into some T2PD, and uh, Pebble almost took an advantage to force a draw, but really well played from Zoc. Really, we saw that early mass advantage uh, gave Zoc an advantage through the entire game. He had map control. So, hopefully, all the other games are going to be maybe a little longer, maybe a little more competitive.